Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna talk about my acne breakout. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the history of my skin and the dosage of the drug that I'm taking. Back in the old days, when I was in secondary school, I've always had the perfect skin. Like literally, perfect. There's no acne, no breakout, nothing. And then my skin starts to get worse when I was in first year of uni. So why did I start getting breakout? I think it's because I was having so much pressure. I had so many labs to attend and I need to write lots of reports. So yeah, my schedules have been really, really tight. But it wasn't anything really serious. I usually get comodona acne on my forehead right before when I need to hand in my reports and during my exam periods. So when I came back to Hong Kong during my holidays, I consulted my dermatologist and then she prescribed me with doxycycline, which I could see a drastic improvement on my skin. And I was really happy about the results. So how did things go down the hill? Well, I came back to Hong Kong last year, 2019, July 2019. I started getting acne on the sides of my face. So I went to my beautician and she said it's possible I'm reacting to the change of environment and also it might be because of the hairs on my face. I have a really hairy face. And then she said, she said that the hairs on my face is blocking my pores, so that's why I keep getting acne. So she suggested that I should get a hair removal laser treatment for my face. So I listened to her and I started getting laser treatment. And every time when I finished one session, my skin would just get worse and worse. By that time, I had no idea that laser would dry your skin. It was really stupid of me and it, I think it was kind of also her responsibility to tell me that, but she didn't. So I just continued getting the laser treatment done every three months. No, not three months, three weeks. And then up until she finally said something about my skin, the dryness of my skin after the laser treatment, she said, oh, I think you should get a moisturizing facial treatment for your face after your laser treatment because your skin gets really dry. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll get a moisturizing facial treatment then. Nothing has changed. I think it was too late. And then I didn't just get comodoma acne on the sides of my face. I started getting cystic acne, which was really painful, really sore, and it was just bad, like really bad. So in my opinion, don't do anything that that is not really necessary for your skin. I know everyone has a different standard, but I don't think I will ever get any hair remover laser treatment done on my face ever again. Like that was the worst decision I've ever made in my life. Here's a quick breakdown of my skin condition. Um, when I was in the UK, uh, my skin was dry, not really sensitive. And then when I was at uni, my skin was still dry and became acne prone skin. And then when I came back to Hong Kong, my skin was dry, sensitive and acne prone. And then up until when I got my laser treatment done, my skin became oily, acne prone and sensitive. Now I have dry, sensitive and acne prone skin. So. Please, please, please do not get any hair removal laser done on your face if you have sensitive and acne prone skin like I do. It's not worth it. So my skin was really bad and it got worse. So I couldn't get any more laser treatments done. So I went to consult my uh, dermatologist again and then she prescribed me with the same drug, doxycycline, 100 milligrams, for four weeks. Now this drug worked for me before but this time it did nothing on my skin. So I phoned up my doctor when I was on the second week of taking Dr. Cycling. And then she said, oh, I could come in and do a quick checkup to see how my skin is doing. And then she, she when she saw me, she was like, oh, this drug is not working on you anymore. So maybe we can try um, birth control pills, but you might get edema, or you can try a cholesterol lower, lowering drugs, which is gonna mess up your periods. But I didn't want any of those side effects. So I picked Accutane instead. I know Accutane has lots of side effects but I don't want to get edema and I don't want to mess up my periods because it's really annoying when you don't know when you will get your period. Now things that you need to know when you're on Accutane, number one, you cannot get any laser treatments done 
on your body because your skin will become really light sensitive. Now that includes um, being exposed to the sun for too long. I got several sunburns already which is not good. So you need to avoid being exposed to the sun for too long and you have to wear SPF. Like that's a must. Number two, you cannot drink alcohol because alcatine really fucks up the liver. So you need to avoid alcohol at all costs. Now number three, you cannot get pregnant. Now this is very important because Accutene causes birth defects. So now I'm gonna talk about the dosage, my Accutene dosage. So before I started my, my Accutene journey, I had to take a blood test just to make sure my lipids level and my cholesterol levels are fine. And I have to take a blood test before all of my checkups just to make sure my body can cope with the drug. So I started taking 20 milligrams of Accutene on the 11th of March and then after a month, I need to go back to see my doctor, which was on the 8th of April. So she asked me how I was feeling after taking the drugs, and I told her about my side effects, which includes nosebleeds, headache, dry lid, dry skin, and not to mention about the sensitivity to light. I got about three to four sunburns in the past 4.5 months. You just need to bring your sunscreen. I wasn't really worried about it. So I carried on with 20 milligrams of Accutene, she couldn't increase the dosage by that time because I was having too many nosebleeds. But then after the 8th of April, I started getting heartburns. I don't know why, which is really weird. So I called her again and then she was like, oh, this is not a really common side effect. Um, I will call you every other day just to see if there's anything serious. So she did. And then after about two weeks, I was completely fine. Like I stopped getting heartburns, which was really odd. So I just carried on with 20 milligrams of Acuity after my session on the, for, on the 8th of April. And my skin wasn't as dry. I think my body was getting used to this drug. So I went to my third session which was on the 17th of June and then she increased my dosage from 20 to 30 and oh my god my skin was like Sahara Desert it was extremely dry on my hands and on the back of my legs I started getting those dry patches and I started bleeding and stuff it was really bad I think I can show you one right now here it was just really bad now it wasn't as bad as before, but it's still bad because I still have a few dry patches on my on the back of my legs. I'll have my fourth checkup session on the 12th of August, which means I have to get a blood test before my checkup. Just a basic routine, just to make sure my body's coping well and I'm not having bad reactions. My cholesterol level is fine, my lipids level, my lipids profile is fine, just to make sure everything is fine. So so far, three months of 20 milligrams of Accutene, and then two months of 30 milligrams of Accutene up until August and I think I'm gonna continue with 30 milligrams because I have too many side effects so I think I'm gonna stick with 30 milligrams of Accutene till October which means I would have seven months of Accutene's treatment in total. So I started to see an improvement after one and a half months of taking Accutene and usually people would have clear skin by four to five months but that's not my case. Um, I, still have a little, I still have little breakouts on the sides of my face so bear in mind that people react to this drug differently. So I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I think I'll film a post Accutene video which will be released in October because that's when I finish my treatment and I'm gonna show you some before and after photos of my skin so yeah as you can see I had lots of comedoma acne on my on the sides of my face and I also had some cystic acne and then now there's only scars left but I still need to finish my whole course just to make sure I'm not gonna get any further breakouts so let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the comment section down below and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!